uh, guys in this video today we will see how you can create a free email in your GoDaddy cPanel hosting so in order to create an email make sure you have a, a cPanel hosting and uh, you have the domain for which you want to create a new email you can see I have a lot of the uh, domains purchased in my uh, GoDaddy account uh, as you can see there are a lot of the domains so in order to create the email first of all log into your GoDaddy account and go to your products and then you will see uh, here it's your web hosting that you will purchase so click on this manage web hosting it will open uh, the web hosting page on your uh, in your account then at the top you will see cpanel admin so click on that now once you click on C, uh, cpanel uh, or the you know the option that you see here cpanel admin it will open the cpanel dashboard and in the cpanel dashboard you will see the lot of the tools in the list here so uh, scroll down and go to the email here you can see and click on the email accounts now once you click uh, on the email accounts it will show the list of all the email if in case you have created and otherwise if you don't have any email created yet it will come up here like blank so in order to create a new email click on this create option then select your domain so as you can see I have a lot of the domains already purchased so let me create the domain for uh, email for one of the domain and that is megasoftllc.com so I'm creating the email uh, let's say like info you can give any username here this username will uh, you know it will be the starting alphabets of your email like you can see if I type info here so it will the email will be info at megasoftllc.com in the same way if you want contact so then just type here contact and uh, your email will be contact at megasoftllc so I already have this uh, contact uh, email so I'm just creating info at megasoftllc below that uh, you can see below there you, you will have an option to enter the password so you can just create any password that you can remember easily so uh, and try to create as strong as password you can so that it will be you know hard for anybody to guess so you can see once you are done with the password option it will give you option to create so here there is a checkbox uh, it's saying stay on this page after create so if you want to stay on this page and you want to create a new email you can check this box otherwise you can just simply click on this create option and once uh, you know once you click on this create option you will get a notification at the right top corner you can see success you have created your email now so that info at megasoft llc that should come here somewhere in the list so let me go to the next page here you can see so it's info at megasoft llc.com so the email is created now if I want to check this email I can click on this check email it will open by default with this round cube so round cube is a uh, is a default app to access your cpanel email so you can click on this open option and it will open your email like this as you can see my email here is on the top and uh, here is a uh, you know the list of the emails that you will receive the inbox you will find your drafts sent mail junk email trash archives everything here now the second option if you want to configure your uh, email with your other like let's say if you want to uh, configure it on the Gmail or the Outlook 
so you have the options to do that so how you will do uh, let me show you there is an option here you can see connect devices so click on this then you will have the all the settings option you can see uh, how you can manually configure it on your other like uh, client either you want to uh, configure it on the outlook or the gmail you can certainly do that here is the credentials that you require uh, to create or uh, to configure your email with any other client so this is all in this uh, tutorial in case if you have any queries any questions you can just ask in the comment box and i will be there to answer thank you so much guys